later, I promoted the business, regional consultant, senior consultant, and it was at that point in time where the money started coming consistently. And that's when my husband really got fired up and excited about the business, and I got more commitment from him. I want you to know, and I'm talking to some people in here that may not have support at home 100%. So this isn't just about me being a mom and talking to the other moms or fathers that are raising kids. I'm also talking to people that have spouses and significant others that may not be 100% committed to what you're doing. I didn't have that 100% commitment at first. I think, I, think he was wait, I think he believed in me and was waiting for me to take the business to the next level, but at the same time wasn't certain if I'd stick to it. And I stuck to it, and I showed our family that I could actually do this. And I won him over by making the money. So when you join this business, listen, if you're in partnership with someone, if you're in a relationship with someone, if you've got family that's involved with you in this business and they're watching you go out to weekly business presentations on a regular basis and you're not growing in your business, you're not the only one invested in the business. There's other people that have to buy into the business. So he bought into the business because money was coming in. You guys, we ended up having a third baby. <laughs> Maybe because we were making money. <laughs> we ended up having a third baby. So now I'm talking about three babies under three, year old, three years old. Three babies in Pampers, you guys. And I was a senior consultant building a team. And at the same time, I was still working. I forgot to put that part in. I was still working and building a business very part-time. If you're waiting for a period of time where you're gonna have an eight-hour day like you do in your typical work week to build the business, it ain't gonna happen if you're doing something else. Don't wait to build this business. Find 15 minutes here and there, 30 minutes here and there to share the opportunity. That's exactly what I did. So fast forward a little bit, you guys. Stay in the business long enough so that magical things start to happen. Last year at Ambition, Ambit announced a new state opening, which was my home state, and that was the state of Ohio. And y'all, my guys, right. when that announcement was made, my husband and I looked at each other, and we both started crying. And I looked at him, and I said, what are you crying about? He said, I've been praying for this opportunity since we joined this business, because that's where all our friends and family are. He's like, why are you crying? I said, I'm crying because of the sacrifice we're about to make as a family. You see, before we went to Ambition last year, we had made a decision that we would put the kids into school, which is a tuition-based school, three children. We had also, or I had just paid for the, the, the five-year-old, the whatever ages they were. <laughs> I had just paid for the two oldest boys to have swim classes and the youngest child, who was two at the time, to take gymnastics. But I knew in our conversation with him that we were going to make the biggest sacrifice in our relationship and in our business that we ever had, and that was for mommy to leave the family and move to Ohio for four months. And that's exactly what we did. You guys, that sacrifice and that commitment is what allowed us to win the five-star trip last year. And it's also the thing that allowed us to promote to executive consultant. But it took sacrifice. It took sacrifice. And what you guys don't always hear, you hear all the great stories of what, you know, of the accomplishments and you know getting the, the the comma pen for the first time you're hearing all those stories or you're actually seeing us do these things but you don't see the sacrifice the sec imagine this i'm the mom i'm mom at home with the kids i left three children at home with my husband who works a full-time job <laughs> think about his sacrifice right Think about the billing, the billing, and the commitment that you have to have in order to do something like that. During that period of time, I had my 40th birthday by myself. During that period of time, my, my son had his third birthday. My daughter had her second birthday. Halloween, missed it for the kids. Are you getting me? 
The topic that I'm supposed to be talking to you right now about is about balancing family and business. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't exist. <laughs> so, you guys, you got to be willing to throw some things out of whack. Some of you know me very well and you see what's going on in my household when I'm building this business. I am taking a significant sacrifice for the family and so is my husband, you all. We cannot do everything at 100%. So you got to be willing to get out of balance in order to get to the dream as to the reason why you got into this business in the first place. And what I'm teaching the kids right now, you guys may see us here walking around the hallways, we actually made another sacrifice to bring all of the children here with us this year. We have the six-year-old, the four-year-old, and the two-year-old here at Envision. And let me give you a quick story before I go off the stage. It's just about balance again. First ambition, I came to ambition by myself. Couldn't afford for us all to come here, for me and my husband to come, it was just me. Second year for ambition, my husband came without me. Why? Because I was giving birth to the third baby at that point in time. This third year of ambition, I came by myself again. Why? Because now we have a family of five. We couldn't afford for me and my husband to come alone and hire a nanny to watch the kids. The next ambition, we came together. This ambition, everybody's come. Right. And the commitment to make that possible is absolutely amazing. You guys, be willing to throw your life off balance. That's just what's going to, that's what's, that's what's going to take. It's going to take that. You've got to be willing to be out of balance just for a little while, just for a little while. And this summer was all about the kids and having fun with them because it was unfair. Mommy was out working and building the business. They didn't get to hang out with me. So this was all about them. But I guarantee all of you, I cannot wait until tomorrow's announcements. Because when those announcements are made, it's back to building this business. We're going back out of balance again.